We are back. Now we are me me. But all of you as well, for Deadly Premonition 2. The best game of 2020? Maybe? I don't know. It's real good. I like it a lot. My allergies are insane. It's not COVID, fear not. I went on a hike with Evie today, which was fun, but maybe a mistake. Recap? Oh, man. All right. Well, let's see. FBI agent Francis York Morgan, this guy, on vacation in a Louisiana town. There was murder of a, not a little girl, but like a 14-year-old girl who was killed and chopped up by her mama, uh, which we already saw. But the mama was also chopped up. There's a 10-foot tall giant involved. We met PJ Clarkson, who is uh, the mom of the chopper upper and also the one that got chopped up. And then the grandpa of the original victim, uh, PJ Clarkson, met him. He's a big dude, but he's not 10 foot tall. And he took his son-in-law, put his arm through a fence, and a giant alligator slash crocodile, can't really tell the difference, bit his arm off. So yeah, that's kind of where we are. It's a good time. Also, there's a boat ride where we can shoot things, but this is the first... Whoa, she pulled a roach. Uh, this is... Oh, there's no animation there. It's a good time. Uh, this is the first time that the frame rate has bit me in the butt because that is hard to do, this little boat race with target shooting with this frame rate. It's a little janky. What time zone am I in? I'm in blind wave standard time, also known as Eastern Standard Time. So it is 2 p.m. here. Rick, what does this game have to do to you to be better than the first game? It's already better than the first game in terms of everything except maybe story and characters which I don't know yet because it honestly feels like we're just getting started somehow but the uh, the gameplay so much better than the first one good god it's so much better like this is as better as the first one as Street Fighter 2 is to Street Fighter 1 it's crazy now we're still not like playing Metal Gear Solid 3 here or Resident Evil 4 but bastards. I'm a man that doesn't even need sleep. Coffee and cigarettes. That's all I need. All right. Well, we need to fast travel here. Actually, I kind of don't remember what I'm doing at this moment. Oh, yeah. Yes. So the Holy Trinity. No, not the Holy Trinity. The Satanic Trinity? We have to make a disgusting piece of food for the preacher before he'll give us information. So we need a can of Spam at Melvin's Le Crawfish. We need canned spinach from a vending machine somewhere in town. And we need red beans and rice at Alexis's Diner and Lane, which isn't open right now, I think. And I thought that this was the place for the crawfish, but it is not. So we need to go back into town. So where's Melvin's? Not even sure what that is. Is that? I don't think Melvin's the name of the cook in the uh, hotel. I don't think. And I don't think this guy's Melvin either. This is exclusive to the Switch. I can't even believe it got made. But here we are. All right, um, I don't think this place is open. It is Wednesday at 1600. Actually, it is almost open. So let's go there. But yeah, we're playing Need for Speed all of a sudden. Melvin is the sheriff. That's true. I forgot you also had a food truck. Any of you going to play the new Avengers game? That is a good question. Uh, it did not look like my kind of game. Music's kind of loud. Music is just right. I'll turn it down for you a little bit. Uh, let's turn it down to negative 40. 
14. How about that? Um, so I don't think I'll be playing it unless it's like a group stream thing. But someone else might. I know Aaron was a big fan of the Ultimate Alliance games. I played through them with Eevee, which they were fun for kid games, but it's, uh, I don't know. There's just something off-putting about it to me. Like the way the gameplay looks. Anytime you have that many characters, like, you dilute the gameplay loop, in my opinion. So, like, you have something like Devil May Cry 5 that has three characters. Uh, but two of those characters have been honed over multiple games. But, you know, maybe the story is really interesting. Um, maybe the openness of it and the upgrade system is something that people can get into, but just didn't look like my cup of tea. All right. Whoa. Oh. Oh. I was hoping we would just merge the two people, but we did not. So I need to figure out where the heck I am. I'm right where I need to be. It's not quite open yet though, right? I'm gonna have to have a smoke. Zach, it appears to be close. Let's come back to- I know Eric's gonna be looking for a new game. So if he wants to not get into The Walking Dead again right away, maybe that's an option. Uh, all right, smoke. How do we do, how do we smoke? Light it up! Am I planning on playing the Miles Morales game? I'm still not clear. Is that... It's just DLC, right? Or is it like a standalone? I'm, I'm still confused as to what that actually is. Uh, it's not its own like game experience. It's an add-on to PS4 Spider-Man, right? Uh, kind of like um, Infamous... Something blood, blood something was. I'm gonna be streaming Cyberpunk. Absolutely. I've not tried punching someone when I have zero dollars. It, it's not a full sequel though. The Miles Morales game. It's not like a. Um, it's not like. Are you sure it's a completely new game? I thought it was like a a mini experience. Like I don't I don't think it's the same scope as the original. But I I could be wrong. That was the impression that I got. Ugh, the air out there don't feel right today. You feel it too, honey? Oh yeah. It's got to be true. Uh, I'll be playing it either way. I probably won't be streaming it, though. Aaron streamed it in the first place, so he'll probably stream it again. Go. Order. <laughs> oh, come in. Actually, I might not be able to order. I probably have to talk. Yeah. I should have looked at my hunger while I was there, Alexis, though. could I? Oh, my lord. Sorry, honey, but no can do. Why? We only serve red beans and rice on Mondays. Well, that's that's gonna be a problem. That's a meal you eat when you're busy, like folks usually are on Monday. I'm investigating a murder. I'm busy. It's been a tradition here in Louisiana for as long as I can remember. Wait, honey, don't tell me. You're the type who does your laundry every day. Depends on how big your household is. <laughs> Oh. You Tradition. do get paid a salary Zach, in this game. This is it. The deep set. We need to obey. Monday. All right. It's going to be a lot of sleeping. So where else can we go? I have no idea where the vending machine is. We'll try and find it. And then we need to go to the police station. So I guess we'll skate to the police station. While we uh, look for the vending machine. Which I couldn't find last time. But maybe I will this time. I've seen them around, I just can't remember where any of them are. It's like real life. I've not played the Red Dead Redemption games, 
I would want to play the first one before I played the second. I need to do that one of these days. There's a lot of food, a lot of games I need to get to. I need to get to the Mass Effect series. I need to play a lot of the Legend of Zelda games that I have not played. Uh, those are sort of the two like biggest gaps in my gaming knowledge. I feel like. Uh, the, the, I mean, there's a lot of games I haven't played, obviously, but I feel like those are some of the bigger gaps. And I haven't played a Grand Theft Auto since Vice City, either. So there's a lot of those I need to catch up on, too. Yeah, growing up, I had an NES, and then I went from the NES to a Genesis, to a PS1, to a PS2, to a PS3. So the only Zelda I got to... Oh, it didn't freeze, Chris. This is to be expected. If it, w if it didn't do this, then I would be worried. Um... So I only played the first Legend of Zelda uh, for the NES, which is absolutely amazing and I loved. It was so cool because I inherited a lot of my games from my uncles and my stepdad after a certain point. Um, so when I inherited the Legend of Zelda from my uncle, who is also an artist, uh, like the instruction book that comes with the Legend of Zelda, a map came with it as well, but it wasn't all filled in. And he had it filled in. And it was like really well drawn and everything. I still have it. It's one of my prized possessions. Okay, hold on. Okay. Spam! Wait, what's this say? All the ingredients for a common sausage stuffed into a can instead of an intestine. Yeah, it's something else though. It's so salted. I can't stand spam. Are we good on everything else? I might need some more cigarettes since I... I got six of them. I just need to get them out of my briefcase. Uh, some suntan lotion. Mint gum. Seems important. Perfume. It's 19 bucks. I can't afford that. Mr. York. Spam, huh? You a pot of meat kind of guy? No, Melvin. I've simply gotten myself tangled up in a little mess. Oh, I get it. Mr. York. The Lord hungers! Right? How does he do that? Yes, apparently the Lord is starving, and I'm a lamb with no sense of direction. One third of the way done. Nice. Excuse me. Ugh. Whew. It's my favorite game genre? Oh, man. I don't know. JRPGs is the first thing that comes to mind. But I, I like most of them. Uh, racing games are the only ones that I'm not usually a, too big a fan of. Uh, well... In, like survival games. I like games with goals. Uh, if you could remaster any of those games, which one would you pick? Probably the Mass Effect trilogy. So I tried to play it, but um, there was a good while there when it was on PC, and it, from what I understood, did not support controllers. So that's why I haven't played it. I don't like sandbox games, no. Unless it's Dwarf Fortress. Like, it's the same way I am with music. Like, I don't particularly like country very much, but like the best of the best of anything I can appreciate for what it is. So I feel that way with games as well. Like, I don't love racing games in general, but I think Burnout 3 or Burnout Paradise is a masterpiece. Um, I think Crash Team Racing is a masterpiece. I think Dwarf Fortress is a masterpiece. Okay. Um, let's see. So I have to sleep until Monday for one of these. And then the other one... 
the vending machine, so I guess we just look for a vending machine then. I tried Subnautica. I I didn't like it. It, it feels... Survival games feel like they're purposely slowly paced. Sorry, Granny. In a way that it feels like they're trying to stretch out the experience. Uh, I feel that way with most open world games. But I, got, uh, I understand that the point is like a focus on exploration and mystery and intrigue, but uh, I just think there are better ways to do it than most of those games do. Game nights have been put on hold. Uh, I mean, Maggie and I will probably film another one, but until we can be around a table, um, I think there's just better uses of our time right now. What am I supposed to get from a... I think we've got the wrong thing. Oh, I have to get the right vending machine? Come on now. I think we've got the wrong vending. I was so excited that I found this one. Horror is a genre in both video games and movies that I give a pretty free pass to. Because uh, I love the genre so much, so it can get away with a lot. Yeah, mechs and minions would be kind of tough to do virtually. I have tried Terraria. Like, I've I've played most of the, the big titles um, just to try them. Even if I knew I might not like them, just to have that in my gaming history. But I didn't much care for Terraria. don't like Minecraft. from Patrick. Thank you. Uh, someone asked if I like RTSs. I do. Age of Empires 2 is one of my favorite games ever. Uh, other RTSs. Starcraft 2 I put quite a bit of time into. Never did play the first one. I need to play the Command & Conquer games. in a circle not a sing let's try some I mean, that would be on brand for me if I just went in a circle I think we've got yeah Commander Congress 3 uh, I need to try the remake of that definitely I, I finally beat Fire Emblem Three Houses, so I can fit a strategy game back into my rotation, if you will. Alright, this is the exact same way that I went on last time. You will not fool me again. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna understand where I'm going. Vending machines are just in the strangest places in Marietta. It's like no rhyme or reason. I don't like payphones. Not off the Middle Earth and everything. Like Another one I wanted to play, I think it came out on the PS2. It was like Aliens vs. Predators. That always looked amazing, but I never got a chance to play it. Take a right when we come up here because we've already been to the left. It might take me to Monday until I find this vending machine. Oh, I might be one over here. This looks familiar. That's when I know I'm in trouble, by the way. That's 
why I know I'm lost. That's when I say this looks familiar. And that's the moment it triggers in my mind that, well, I better, I better pull up the GPS. Any tricks you've tried over the years to overcome the struggle for directions in game or in real life? Um. Well, I always park in the same aisle no matter where I go. So if I go to Walmart, if I go to the mall, I park in the same aisle. If there's no spots, I wait. Not even kidding. It was the same when I worked at Washington State Community College. I would park in the same row of cars. And like any time that I couldn't, I it would take me minutes to find my car. Come on, baby. Yeah. Ugh. Look at this guy so, finding stuff. We finally found our can of spinach. If human civilization ended and we don't know. Look, Zach. From what exactly? Even this vending machine is managed uh, what by Clarkson games, what I Food Delivery survive. Services. But who? Would... I only hope that it's Tetris. Absolutely, I think Tetris is the, as perfect as a video game as you can get. I think it's a universal, like, understanding of like spatial awareness and the need to construct things. I think that that's something that's would apply beyond just Earth. So I think Tetris is the number one. Uh, anything other than that? I mean, civilization could kind of act as like a telling of our history almost. Like if they could, lead, if they could read our language, the, the Civipedia could give them a lot of information. And they could see like, you know, different ways that civilizations have thrived over time. That's through war or diplomacy, trade, science. I think that could be something that's interesting, maybe. And then the last one. I want something that speaks to like like human emotion and relationships. I'm trying to think of what game that would be. I think Facade is a very interesting game in that facet. Um, it's a text adventure game that I can't remember the name of, but you're like talking to a goddess that's living inside of a statue. That's kind of interesting. I guess we should just go back to uh, this and sleep until Monday. So turn around. Uh. What do you guys think as far as like a relationship game? Actually, Persona 4 or 5 could be interesting. I think it handles relationships in an interesting manner. If everyone just started telling you you're going the wrong way, even though you're not, would you trust your guts? No. No, I'm long past any sort of pride when it comes to directions. I always assume I'm going the wrong direction. Always. Yeah, there's an independent game that did some very interesting things with text parsing called Facade back in the 2000s, I think. Uh, where basically you were a friend invited over to a house party with a couple that was having relationship problems. And you could type in whatever you wanted to. And it, the game would parse that text. And the characters would understand it. And, and if you spoke gibberish, they would like, you know, what are you saying? You're talking crazy kind of thing. Like, it wasn't perfect by any means, but it was a very interesting experiment. I'd like to see more of that. 
Oh, there's another one too. That would be brilliant. Uh, damn, it's called Passage. Yeah, Passage. It's a. Um, it was made for a, a game competition, and it has like Atari style graphics. Uh, it's you know very small resolution, but you are. It's a. Uh, I almost don't want to tell you what it's about. So you can make your own conclusions, to be honest. But I would look up Passage. It's free. Um, it takes less than half an hour to beat. I think it's a game with a powerful message. Uh, without using a lot of resources. Which is something I always respect greatly. I love it when any piece of art can be minimalistic, but invoke a maximum response. That's why I like... Um, uh, a dark room so much on iOS. So I think that game does a lot of things that The Last of Us does without a single picture or audio. It's just all text. Witcher 3 is amazing. No doubt about that. It's certainly one of my favorites. But in order to really appreciate The Witcher 3, I feel like you have to appreciate folklore. And is folklore something that aliens can understand? Folklore and fantasy and... Because it plays off a lot of those tropes. In very interesting ways, but... Alright, how long can I actually sleep for? More than 24 hours? Alright, gotta do it 24 hours at a time. Do, 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 do. These kind of conversations is why I'm so excited to get the video game podcast going. Oh no! Wait, do they charge me? Okay, I guess that's not crazy. I was like, are they charging me per day? But that's how hotels usually do it. But I might burn up all my money this way. This, this might be bad, actually. I need to eat. What time is it? It's like in the middle of the night, right? Who's the clock? Oh god, I'm gonna die. Alright, we gotta eat something. I have like a sucker. What if I die in my sleep? 20. Alright, so. I'm gonna guess 7 a.m.? We'll go 8 a.m. Hope I don't die in my sleep. Doing well, Stormageddon. How are you? That's a good way of putting it, Squeegee. The need for mythos. I'm also a fan of Joseph, Cam Joseph Campbell. the game expect me to do until Monday? Like, there doesn't seem to be very much that I've missed. And that's what I'm talking You can't get to make sure. Maybe there's other side quests out there I'm supposed to do? Man, I can... It's barbecue shrimp for breakfast. Just seems a little questionable. I guess banana foster? Bananas for breakfast? I need, I need to eat a lot, so we'll do that. I mean, the game has its quirks, but I, I'm absolutely loving it. Just like that. That's how, that's how I feel like I look Thanks, when mister. I'm playing this. Next time you get a hankering for... I mean, I guess there is... There's a couple things I can do. I can get all the beads. In order to get the beads, I have to do side quests. 
and for the bees, I have, I have no idea where the bees are is the thing. There's no way for me to like mark this on my map. Now, what day is it? It's Friday. A Saturday, Sunday, Monday. sleep another 24 hours. I'm not even sure there's anyone that I could get a quest from. Oops. Darn it. Uh, I wouldn't put Minecraft above Dwarf Fortress in any context. I don't think Minecraft would exist without Dwarf Fortress, and I think Dwarf Fortress does my everything Minecraft does better except accessibility. Which is a big deal, don't get me wrong. Good hygiene bonus. What if I overshot it? Wouldn't that be some crazy stuff? What's your ideal breakfast, Chad? I think it's called an English breakfast. It's like pork chop, applesauce. And that's what I'm talking about. A little thing of pancakes would be real good. You can't get so make sure you enjoy it. And ham. Ham. Ponyo likes ham. Thanks, mister. Next time you get a hand. All right, what day are we on? Saturday. Two more days. I mean, it's not like this is a JRPG and I can just go out there and grind my level as the days pass. Just gotta sleep. one. The Lord of Hungers. Oh man, if I have to buy it on Monday and then I have to wait till Sunday until church, that'll be unfortunate. I feel like Francis York Morgan may have developed some depression. He's just sleeping all day. Sleeps, eats, that's it. These two still shower right now. Gonna run out of money. Press the orange juice again. Uh, we have a place around here called the Busy Bee that has amazing breakfast. They have freshly squeezed orange juice, the coffee's so good, their ham, everything. Everything is good. It's all locally sourced. Let's 
check in again because I really don't want to oversleep. That would be terrible. And that's what I'm talking. You can't get to so make sure. All right, one more sleep. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Next time. All right. Another sweary game, actually. I want to know if anyone in chat has played. <laughs> uh, hang on, let me let me look up the name of it. It's a long name. The Missing JJ McField and the Island of Memories. It it looks fascinating. It's like a a two D puzzle platformer where you're playing as a girl that is invincible and like you have to put her through like deadly situations to get through some of the puzzles but it's not deadly for her it is as all swear things super intriguing but i don't know just like reading about it sounded like it might be make me too uncomfortable to play sounds pretty rough I think I will have to give it a try, at the very least. So I felt that way about um, The Binding of Isaac. I think it's an absolutely brilliant game. Like, it's it's so good, but it made me so uncomfortable to play that I just couldn't I couldn't play it. I have heard of the return of Obra Dinn. Uh, it is on my list to play. Uh, just kind of been waiting for it to find it on sale. And that's what I'm talking about. You can't get fine, so make sure. All right, today should be Monday. Eat up. Eat up. Thanks, mister. Next time you... Monday, right? Monday, 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 Monday. Monday! Monday Night Raw. Hashtag don't watch Monday Night Raw. $25 for breakfast is steep. I mean, that's about right in a, if you get it in a hotel, to be fair. Ah. Should have saved before I left. But there's a phone in the bowling alley, I think. So I think we're good. Talking about roguelike games now? I've not actually played any of those, although they're all on my list. I liked Rogue Legacy. What other roguelikes have I played? There's gotta be others. Uh, the, uh, the Binding of Isaac, I guess. Yeah, might need to get Risk of Rain 2 for Flyweb Knights to play. I haven't played Blasphemous. Okay, uh, where are we looking? Which way is the diner? That way? It feels like it's that way. I'm gonna check. Bam! Never mind. I was wrong. No, I did play Kirk with the Necro Dancer. Alright, 
save up. Hello, Alex. Evie and I were hiking today, and there's only one very clearly marked trail. Like, there's no branching paths or anything. But I made sure my phone was charged in case I needed GPS to get back. You never know. When it comes to me, you never know. Yeah, we can get the skateboard repair. Rice and beans, please. Ooh. No. How do I get the rice and beans? Do I have to buy something? I don't. I don't care about what you have to say to me. Eat the dish and feel the powers of your veins. Very intriguing, doesn't it, Zach? Okay, then. Can you make us that special dish right away? Oh, this is a side quest. I guess I should have read it. Preparing all the ingredients takes a mighty long time. I don't even have them all in stock. How about I bring you the ingredients you need there? Oh my lord, I see your good looks aren't the only thing you got going for you, honey. You got some real grit, and that can go a long way. Anyway, I'm going to need a total of three ingredients. Would you mind bringing them to me one by one, honey? Here's the first ingredient I need. Why one by one? Guess we should have been doing this for the last three days. Once you bring me the first ingredient, I'll start working on it. In the meantime, you should go out and find me the next one. I'm getting real excited now. It's been quite a spell since I last made this special dish. A special Cajun dish? It smells like case, doesn't it, Zach? For that. Ugh, no. Order, I guess. <laughs> Red rice, yes, we did it. I'm doing well, Bahib. Alexis, would Bahib. you mind keeping the red beans in the can? I'll pay the regular price, of course. Oh my lord, why don't you want me to take them out of the can? They're for an offering, you see. <laughs> to you. Well, that was dignified. Why didn't you say so? The Lord hungers. <laughs> exactly. As you can see, I'm a pitiful lost lamb. I had to wait three days to get a can of beans. Now I get it, Zach. This is nothing but a shameless fetch quest. Calling it out doesn't make it better. That's what Bard's quest for the PS2 did not understand. Side quest. Gather one rice at Sugar Cane Plantation. All right, well, let's head to the preacher first. Also, let's talk to her and make sure she doesn't have any side quests too while we're here. Hi there, Hans. Talk. Perfect timing, Mr. Special Agent. Perfect timing for what? You show me more of those bowling skills. My bowling skills? Yes, now you've gone sit. Now that you've gone semi pro, you can only go up, up, up from here. I don't have much time left. I've been thinking about how I need to find myself a successor. Mrs. Carpenter, do you mean to say that you want me to be your successor? I don't mean to say it. I said it. So I need to take a good look and decide whether or not you got what it takes. Well, you up for the challenge? Your successor, that does sound nice. Zach, honestly, I'm getting butterflies here. It's so strange. I never thought it'd feel this good to be complimented about talent that I never even knew I had. 
now you listen up. If you want to become my successor, you better listen carefully to every word I say. I'm going to go set up the pins in different ways to see if you can knock them all down. I'll officially name you Mr. Special Agent as my one and only successor. Successor. Here's the first setup. A 2-7-10 arrangement. It's called a Christmas tree. Now, is that a cute name or what? Okay, time to show me what you got. Uh, well, I... Should have expected this. But yet, I did not. Man, I can barely bowl anyway. Hi there, Hank. So I have to well, do then. bowling. And I, how do I... Ah, here we go. Split mode. Success rate 50%. Good God. Do I have to get it in one ball? Split mode is a puzzle mode where you get one chance to knock down pins in the specific locations. They start out easy, but gradually get more difficult, so give them a try. What do you mean easy? This is the hardest thing I've ever seen. Good God. I don't even... I mean, I guess just go through the middle, hit both of them, knock that one from the left side over to the right. idea. Oh, that's that, that was, that was god awful. I get one chance. Oh, goodness. Alright, well. Timing is so weird. This is not Hot Shots Golf timing. This is my favorite sports game ever. Hot Shots Golf Open T. Open T2. I can't remember. Which one I like better. Ah! That timing, yo! I don't even know if I'm like, if I even have the right idea. That was better. Uh. You know, I, I better start saving. And like, man, that's gonna take forever. This game takes so long to load. All right, let me think. I need to send it. To the right, like spinning like this. I was involved in like designing a bowling game. So you think I would understand this better. I don't. Uh let's see. I, mean, I feel like I have the right idea. I just can't execute it. Cause my only other option is to hit it is to go from the right, spin to the left. But then it's gonna hit the centerish pin to the left, I feel like. So I feel like this is, this is the only thing I can do. But at the same time, I just can't do it. Oh, that was close. That's not bad. <sighs> Failure. Good God. Keep working hard now and never forget, you must. I don't even know. I might, I might have to look up some videos on that one. Send it to left side from middle, maybe? Hi there. Well then. Give it one try. Well, a 710 split is the hardest thing in bowling. This isn't quite a 710 split, it's a 2 7 10. Still seems plenty hard. Like I don't even know what what poundage of ball to use. 
Like, I don't really understand the difference. I mean, obviously, the heavier ball is going to have more impact. So I guess I'll try 13. Lucky 13. I don't know. So you're thinking I need to do something like this. And then, like, curve it to the right, maybe? is this lady she she's bowled here every day for over 10 years like the entire time it's open it's got to be tens of thousands of dollars huh Rick you have to hit the middle one on the right slightly while curving the ball to the left, mid power, and a little curve to the right. Well, remind me of that when we try it again. Alright, now we gotta go to the church, which we can fast travel there. I think. I think I opened it. Zach, we finally managed, and it was certainly no small task. No small task. I just hope it rewards us with some data that will help us push this investigation forward. You and me both. Also, where's Patty? Too early? She should probably meet us there. That was the balloon. I believe how long it took you to get to the further ones. Let me tell you, that seems hard as hell. Like, do you actually eventually get a feel for the meter? So I can't tell you how many hours I spent in Dragon Quest XI trying to get that damn jackpot. So many hours. And just getting the tokens for it, too. Someone is just... Just going at it on a drum set, man. I don't think we have a drum set in the studio. Unless that mysterious drummer came back to the room. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Yeah, uh, the townhouse next to us has okay, a stage. Okay, Pastor. I've brought you your taboo so trinity. probably a live band warming up. I'd like to exchange it for a ticket to the goddess. Oh, how I pity you. Pities the fool. You see, my dear lost lamb, our Lord still hungers. One anaconda skin, one squirrel tail, and one pressed white guara. This is what you must bring next. Shoot him. York. Are you kidding me? Shoot him. How pitiful. Our Lord never speaks. It's just rubber just. bullets. Uh, I told you this was gonna be a pain in the butt. Come on, we need to get going. 
It looks like we'll need to work harder to get God's attention, Zack. Part of me just wants to say to hell with it and go have a smoke. Oh God. Oh no. Man, this is this is truly a fetch quest. You didn't even pay me for the stuff that I bought. I even have accuracy plus two, motherfucker. All right. The Lord of Hungers. You're right. Depends what you liked out of Death Note. Puma Alchemist is a good one. I've only seen the original. Um, it's very good. I've heard Brotherhood is also good. But somehow it doesn't have the Brotherhood song in it, which is one of the best songs in all anime ever. Makes no sense. You know, Patty, I just remembered something. When we met Philip in the sheriff's office, he mentioned your mother. What sort of history does Melvin have with the Clarksons? What do you mean? The Clarksons know everyone in town, and everyone in town knows the Clarksons. This is Lucare. That's all there is to it. Zach, something isn't right here. I just hope the Clarksons don't have anything to do with her mother's illness. That's all I'm concerned about. Either way, the truth will reveal itself to us eventually. Just like it always has. Does she have gator fever, which presents with a missing arm? Goal is park. So I have to go to the park? I haven't even seen anacondas. Okay, I've seen squirrels. I, mean, I guess they're on my map, right? Oh, they're not even on my map. Oh, good lord. This is gonna take forever. Uh, do I like Gur Gurren Lagann? I just heard it. I like what I've seen so far. It has one of my favorite OPs of all time. I've been listening to that OP for years. Having never seen the show. All right, well. I guess let's go to the park. That's probably where squirrels are. I guess that's less park and more uh, cemetery, huh? Like, it says park, though. Did you notice it yet? The streets in New Orleans were a mess. Oh, we already listened to this, York. Not fooling me. Uh, that's not a squirrel. That's just a camping site. But there might be some squirrels here. There's trees. This looks parkish. Appreciator of good music, babe. Frequently search like top ten anime OPs. Found it, Zach. An anaconda skin. Well, lucky. Yes. And freshly shed from the looks of it. Now let's get a move on before we run into its former owner. What do you think God wants with something like this anyway? I've only seen the first anaconda. I need to watch the others. 
least the second one. Here we go again. Huh? Uh, nope. Is it not? Am I not gonna sneeze? No, um... Oh god, bees! The bees! Whew. Hey, Zach. Remember this movie? I do. 1997, directed by Luis Losa. Anaconda. The movie where the famous John Voight goes crazy with a rifle. Jennifer Lopez. Eric Stoltz. Even Owen Wilson and Ice Cube were in it. Is that an all-star cast or what? The scene in the beginning where Danny Trejo climbs up a ladder with a pistol in one hand is a must-see. It stole my heart within the first five minutes. Okay, back to the real world. We're on an important mission right now, aren't we? I've always said York has amazing taste in movies. I mean, punching bees is okay, but... Metal Gear Solid 3 Rubber Ocelot killing bees by spinning the pistols? If you guys haven't seen it, there's a behind-the-scenes um, video of the mocap guy who did all those moves. It's pretty amazing. Okay, so all the Anaconda skins are in the park. That, that's not so bad, but this is still terrible quest design. There's no excusing this one. Deadly Premonition's charm does not... Blind me completely. Start on the outside, and then we do like concentric circles going inwards. That one? Yep. If by awful in Anaconda you mean John Voight is amazing in Anaconda, then we're in agreement. There's one. Five, six. But one more. I already been on top of that hill. Let's not deviate from the plan. Stay away from the bees. Three years ago, I met a man who had a pair of anaconda skin shoes. He said they were a trophy from a snake he hunted and skinned all by himself. Could you kill something and then wear its skin? I couldn't. No thanks. I failed to see any difference between that and a crazed murderer who carries pieces of his victims home with him. I mean, use every part of the buffalo. Squirrels and white pressed white gara. I don't even know what that is. Let me look up a gara. Ga gaura. What even is that? Is it a flower? A 
flower. It is a flower. Okay. I feel like the park would be the place to go for squirrels, but I just don't know. There's no way to like make these active, right? Is there no hint? I guess I can head to the skateboard shop. Look along the way. Need to get the skateboard repaired anyway. Huh? All right. All right, Deadly Premonition. During lockdown, I went inside to insane, decided to watch all the Steven Seagal movies. Oh, man, you went. You went and made a rational decision is what you mean. Oh, squirrel. Squirrel. Here he comes. Oh, got him. Reload. Right, one more. Come on. You should see me trying to shoot the geckos and shadow the colossus. It's about how it goes. Certain countries consider squirrel tails to be wards against demonic powers. Apparently, the tails quiver whenever evil draws near. So when people go out on journeys, they always carry squirrel tails with them. The fresher the tail, the higher its price. Right. Three of six. So the shiny didn't count, huh? Oh, there's one. Got him. Oh, there's three. Yes. Take this, Sandy. Oh. What? Those sons of bitches. They steal stuff. Wait, I'm just getting fur. I'm not even getting tails from all these. Oh, good lord. Alright. Sorry. We'll get it. Tail? Tail. Yes. Ripping a squirrel's tail off its corpse is an eye-opening experience, Zack. I don't care if God commanded us to do this. It's pure butchery, but we'll just have to live with it. After all, humans are wild at heart. True enough. You know what? I was going to kill him, but he teleports. It's squirrel's master of reality. This game does have way better aiming. Zack, I never knew that following oracles was such backbreaking work. I really needed this cigarette. I think I'm on the verge of losing my mind. I feel you, York. I feel you. <sighs> now we just need to find one pressed white Gora. He was very clear that it had to be pressed. Do they sell pressed flowers in stores here? I think I'm stumped, Zack. To be fair, we could just press it ourselves. Perhaps we better go ask our well-informed concierge for help. All right. At least that one gave me a direction. My favorite Colossus fight? Oh, man. I mean, the flyer in the desert is incredible. I love all the ones where you have to be on aggro. All right, where's the 
nearest uh, fast travel point. Actually, let's go ahead and continue on to the uh, skate. Let's get our skateboard repaired. There's also a fast travel point here. The only uh, Colossus fight I don't like is the horse. Because I just have such a tough time getting him to, like, look for you, you know? Aggro is the best animal companion to exist in any game ever. Absolutely agree. I think Rush is probably second. You count him as an animal? But yeah, Aggro, man, like... Uh, from what I understand, one of the new Assassin's Creed has a pretty good horse, too, but aggro is something special, man. Just the way they programmed it. Like, that's something that I wish Witcher 3 got right, instead of just teleporting Roche around. And I love Roche, but, um, you yeah, know, he just teleports where he needs to be. Like, aggro is just so... I gotta take a little bathroom break. I'll be right back.
Okay, I am back. Seagal's best movie is probably Under Siege 2, where he's on a train. I would probably agree with that. Basil Podoris. Yeah, he's amazing. Uh, I love, love the soundtrack to Conan the Barbarian. It's another one I listen to all the time. Not so much in the last year or so, but there was a good year where I would listen to something from that every week. Hi, Agent York. All right, repair. Okay, let me take a look. Yes. Also, maybe customize? Can I do that? Is that you a thing? mind if I tell folks about how I got to customize a board for an FBI guy? Of course not. You're my mentor, after all. Really? Thanks. I, I reckon it might help out whenever I decide to open up my own shop, you know? I would probably move location, but... I bet it'll make me famous. Official choice of FBI special agents. <laughs> I'm gonna name it Emma's Skateboard Workshop. When that happens, I hope you'll expand and open up stores all throughout the U.S. Otherwise, I'll have to come down to Louisiana every time I need to fix up my darling. You trying to butter me up with compliments? Absolutely not, Emma. I'm serious. Your skills are top class. You figured out how I ride my board merely from the friction marks, then adjusted my trucks based on that. The wheel and bearing selection in your shop makes perfect sense to me. Your finesse with applying the deck tape was also impeccable. It's rare to find an artisan who thinks this deeply about her customers. I now understand why you call this a workshop rather than a garage. Emma, you should be more confident. Zach and I both guarantee that you possess true talent in your craft. True. Agent York. Hi, Deborah. You really believe I'm that talented? <laughs> wow. Um, I'm so moved, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Maybe there's something about this room. Because it's not so bad in, like, the reaction room. But my allergies are just on fire. Oh, if I only had the saxophone. That'd be amazing. But I don't, unfortunately. I have... I tried skateboarding, like, a tiny bit. Like, I got one. I My parents gave me one while I was a kid. But... I lived in the country, so we had like a little concrete pad in front of the garage, which is really the only place I could ride it without walking or skating three miles into town, quote unquote. And then there, there was like a blacktop um, for like a basketball court, would have been the only thing, so no, they never really skateboarded. See you later. Oh, if you ever got any skateboard questions, I'll be happy to answer them. What happened to Fall Guys? Couldn't play it. Uh, servers were no bueno. So we'll try it next week. Hi, AJ. All right. Uh, oh, I can't do anything with my skateboard. It's a bummer. Time to learn a new what? Trick. Tr. Track. If frustrated, and you want more ways to express your overflowed passion. I don't think your Wally is enough to satisfy your soul. I'd be happy to teach you a new trick if you want. Really? Sure, I'm dead serious. There's a course I always practice on. How about you try and finish it within a special time limit? I reckon you'll be able to naturally learn a trick or two after all that work. Perfect way for you to practice, right? Okay. I'm ready. Why not? Favorite track from Conan the Barbarian is probably Alanian Sword. Yeah, definitely. Okay, time to teach you, teach you your first trick. Finish the course within the time limit. I mean, of course, Lord of the Rings has an amazing soundtrack. But I really like the soundtrack, uh, especially 
the main theme from Merlin with Sam Neill. Learn how to do 360 power slide. Man, we move it up quick, I feel like. 360 power slide lets you spin while moving. Your high speed spin will surely earn you a lot of attention. Press ZR while moving. Okay. So I just got it. Like, I don't even have to do the. the park. That's what's happening. Do I have to do this park first? Where is she? How do I... She said like a time limit. I'm very confused. Why did it drop me off here? I don't think we will get a making video of the Promised Neverland show, but... There... is a video, another video that will come as a result of that that I don't want to spoil. Right, this is stage one, but I unlock stage two, right? Jump increase. I mean, that's a lot of points, though. And the max speed. Oh, it's incense, not increase. But, max speed, I don't think the frame rate can handle it. Does the wave, does the place of WaveCon still have the Wave Rider drink? No, it's not like on the menu or anything. Alright. So I was going to do that, and while I was doing that... Oh, yeah, that's right, I was looking for squirrels. But I got squirrels, so let's head back to the hotel. Which I can only talk to the concierge at night, I think, right? Is that right? It's been a while. Conan the Barbarian does not get enough credit for as good as a movie as that is. In terms of, like, visual storytelling. Cinematography, soundtrack. And I love me some Conan the Destroyer. Like it's it's not a good movie, but it's one of the perfect like Dungeon Dragons movies. I get you. I mean, Conan the Destroyer is so much worse of a film than the first one, but. There's some of those films okay, Zach. that are just... Let's go talk to our concierge. Like Dungeon and Dragons movies. Now, I could just imagine that being a campaign, you know. It'd be impossible for us to find a white Gora all on our own in such a vast area. I've heard the highlights of some of Arnie's um, commentaries, but I've never listened to a full one. I'll listen to those. You listen to Uwe Bowles. Those are... Amazing Welcome well. back, Mr. Morgan, sir. Hello there, concierge. Do you mind if I ask you a question? How may I help you, Mr. Morgan? I'm in need of a pressed white Gora. Do you know of a store where I could find one? The Lord Hungus? Correct. Jolly good, sir. In that case, please ask our bellboy. His hobby is pressing flowers, so I'm sure he'll be able to assist you. No, not very well. And that I'm sure. What time does the bellboy come? Why are you wearing a bow tie with a wife beater? I have many questions. Alright. We smoke inside. 
I might have to sleep. It's like 10 a.m. Doesn't doesn't he not come until night then? This guy's here? I thought this guy was night. I'm so confused. I guess we sleep. Or smoke? Right, let's try to smoke. He probably won't let me smoke inside. But I'm gonna try. Bowtie wife beater combat sounds like someone made an outfit in an RPG based on stats alone. Yeah. Makes sense. It's been a long time since I've seen Red Sonia. Can't remember much about it. I think I saw it on TV, like on cable. So it was probably cut up. I'm not even sure what time it comes out, though. Like, what time to stop smoking? I'm gonna guess, like, 8 p.m.? Director Conan had originally planned a long series of movies, six or seven, where Conan would travel the entire world. That'd be amazing. I mean, I love the Conan short stories. And. But Conan is one of the characters that I think like just grows and changes the most through the series of his stories. Like it's crazy. Alright, let's save. something. I'm running out of money fast. I don't think time passed in the loading screens. Let's run the game clock for a little bit. I guess we can take a nap or something, but... I've actually got to use the bathroom again. I'm sorry. I'll be right back.
All right, let's try that again. Oh, what comes after nine? That's unfortunate. Because it is well away from nine. Snap time. I wonder if that new movie with him as King they were talking about where would get off the ground. With Conan, I mean. has fallen, so Patricia would help. Oh, now the Lord and York hungers. Quick shower. open that I could order a meal from. Please be here, bellboy. No! Very good, please. I need food. I need to get some cigarettes out of my thing, too. Serving you, please do. Right, we gotta get in my toolbox, uh, which is in my room. Which I guess we'll have to sleep for a little more. Wish I could skate in the hotel, it'd be awesome. I need to change my suit too, actually. Come to think of it, since we did sleep in it for four days. I don't think we need all these bullets. We don't need all this coffee. So the lollipops are pretty much useless. After nine, right? Twelve plus nine. Let's a couple more hours, I guess. Oh, I didn't eat. Gotta eat my hot dog. Nom, 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 nom. Which I've slept with. Somehow. Eat a hot dog. That'll get me through. I think I started with like a thousand more dollars this stream than I have currently. It's not good. Please be here. Oh, see, I thought this was the night guy.
because he's a chef for breakfast, and then I thought it was bellboy for the afternoon, and this guy at night. I'm so confused. Just tell me, game. Just tell me. What should I do? Hope it's not glitched. Just keep sleeping for three hour increments, I guess. Till we die of starvation. The music restarts every time. Wait. I had hope. But he's gonna be there, right? Please just tell me when the bellboy comes. Please. Mr. Morgan? Did you no, not very well. And that I'm sure. I would love to. Please tell me when he comes. Wait. I'll be back in the jiffy. If you're in a hurry, head over to the chef. What? what are you talking about, game? I guess I should have seen that red objective marker, but I don't understand what it means. It means I gotta talk to the chef? Deliberately wasting my time, game. Why? I just want to solve murders. You can't get so make talk to him over there. Also, I need to eat. I guess let's fill up. So ridiculous. Thanks, man. Next time. Alright, alright. There he is. There's the red red objective. That's what I need. Got a minute, Chef? What is it, mister? I got my hands full here. Do you know where I might find a pressed white Gora? <sighs> now, what did I tell you? I'm a professional chef. I don't flap my gums about any old thing. It's a press plant up there, isn't there? If you want to know about the town, you best ask our concierge. I did. I did. No. Tell me to talk to the bellboy. Deadly permission to. I want to love you. I want to extol your virtues. I'm presently engaged in other business right now. Please speak to the bellboy if you happen to be in a hurry. But I can't. Oh, wait. It's teleported. May I ask you a question? Sure, boss. What's cracking? I need to find a pressed white Gora. You like flowers, boss? Well, not exactly. But it's the will of God. The Lord hungers hat! <laughs> Excellent, David. Way to cut right to the chase. Do you know where I might find one? Sorry, boss. <laughs> we only have one white Gora bush in our garden. Yep. What's the problem? Well, yesterday I picked them all and pressed them, see? That's... that's what I want. That's perfect. Would you mind giving one to me? 
Sorry, boss. No can do. What do you mean? I used all the pressed flowers I made to decorate a very special spot, see? What spot? The bathroom on the first floor. The bathroom? Yes, sirree. So I don't have a single pressed flower left now. Well, then I'll just go and grab one from the bathroom. I wouldn't do that if I were you, boss. Taking a pressed flower from a bathroom into church? Ah, Jesus ain't gonna like that. Sorry, but it looks like you're all out of luck, boss. What? Why isn't that going like that? Because I stole it? Because it was in a bathroom. Is this like George Costanda in the book he tried to return? Also, there's no decorations in here. Who decorates a stall? Whoa, what is, th what, what? Zach, deep south. This is, we've entered the TARDIS, the voodoo TARDIS. All right, I'm back on board. It's just what, uh, the, uh, the, but, okay. Yep, mm -hmm. nope, I get it. It's all, this all checks out. The White Gora, also known as the Whirling Butterfly. They certainly look just as beautiful as one. Never thought I'd ever have to pick a flower from a bathroom and deliver it to a church. <laughs> but he left us no choice. Did he, Zach? God himself commanded us to carry out this very act. Therefore, I'm simply doing as I'm told. My own will has nothing to do with it. We never get to engage in adventures like these while living in the city, do we, Zach? No, the cases of the city are honestly quite boring. Who wants to fish through the garbage for a missing corpse's genitals? That, that doesn't sound or great. Or chase a stray bullet that got lodged into a moving taxi. Talk about stupid. That sounds much better than the previous one. And usually, it's all just a formality so that we can accuse a criminal who's been obviously guilty since day one. If I have to search for something, I'd much rather search for something out here. It's just so much more dramatic. This is the countryside, and it's sensational. You know what I mean, don't you, Zach? We got it. Please, Lord, be satiated. Please. Strings bad, I am I'm pretty good. I'm playing a, a great video game. My allergies out of control. My stomach is not agreeing with me. But I'm here. Alright, let's save and go back to the church. Is he gonna combine all this into food? Squirrel tails? I've had squirrel. I've never had squirrel tail. It's just, just fur and bone. Maybe you can do it. Come on, baby, hold together. Alright, save. High five, bro. And fast travel to church. Actually, she started making multiple saves in case there's a terrible crash. One piece is good. I just finished. Well, I'm I'm like right at the end of the Sky Island arc. 
It was very good. Quite liked Inaru. It was a great performance by uh, Okabe. Slash Urban. Alright, Lord. Here's my offering. Let it be enough. Uh, I had too much elbow movement. There we go. That's better. That's better. Heavenly. Truly heavenly. He threw away all the spam, the red beans, and the spinach. I don't believe this. All this time, he was only after the cans? Shh, be quiet, Agent York. He's doing holy work. Just be quiet and watch. <sighs> what a fragrant pressed flower. Thank you for this blessing, oh Lord. Yes, you sir. Bongos? As fragrant as a urinal cake. Shh, behold, it is finished. <laughs> oh Lord, is it raptured? Take this, my lambs, and let it serve you. All right, yeah, no, it was all worth it. The fool, and he's up on the chair. The fool mind to question this game. Yeah, no, that's great. That is fantastic. I don't really understand York. the squirrel Folks tale, say but. Pastor Sanders' instruments have special powers. Special powers? Yes, it is the truth, my lost lambs. Have faith. Still in that the chair. Lord guides me to create the perfect instrument for each citizen of our town. Each instrument's effects differ by person, too. In your case, you were blessed with three drums and a special flower. This is the will of the Lord. You must accept it and have faith. <laughs> If you ever find yourself lost again, return to me at any time. Patty, I'm curious. Do you have an instrument too? Huh? Me? Of course not. Why would I ever want one of those stupid things? I'm fine just watching you adults play your silly little games. <laughs> <sighs> Zack, the pressed flower we took from the bathroom ended up coming straight back to us. Reminds me of the doctor from Cowboy Bebop for some reason. I see that. They're both weird. Eerie drum. A special sacred instrument crafted by Pastor Sanders. Each person's instrument is unique. Yeah, but... But, but what do I do? I assume I needed to leave. I guess I should have checked inside the church. Uh, it's going to be unfortunate if I have to go back in. Hmm. Like, what do I need it for? I can't unless I'm supposed to like lull the uh, 
the alligator to sleep at the Clarksons? It's the only thing I can think of. Hey, Agent York, what's next? I have no idea, Patty. Fear not, Patty. Our next stop is that stylish woman's house. Well, that makes sense. Her name least. is Helena Doman, and apparently she lives in this town. What? You want to go meet her? You know her? Uh, yeah. Everyone calls her Lena. Hey, how'd you figure out her name anyway? No one told you, right? That's true. No one told me. Verbally. By pure chance, Zack and I happened to acquire this. We picked it up from the ground while the pastor was busy crying. <laughs> Patty, this is a prescription for a female hormone medication. Which means this person is undergoing hormone treatment. Understand? It's the Oracle. This is the ticket to the goddess that we were meant to find at the White Hall. Uh, okay. I just remembered something that Melvin said to me in the holding cell. Professor R isn't exactly a normal woman, according to him. Now it all makes sense, Patty. All right, so this is the character that a certain dialogue got changed in the patch for. Lena Doman is the stylish woman we've been searching for. Professor R there was in the some flesh. Scene or scenes that were insensitive in the first version. You know, Agent York, you might actually have some talent after all. Yes, I'll be honest with you, Patty. Both Zack and I are extremely talented. So I hope you can trust us and continue working as our assistant. All right. Can I only go there on the third Friday of every month? Have you come seeking salvation? I'll be happy to guide you. Hasn't been anything in the coffee. The coffee's been very disappointing this game so far. What? You accusing me of being a smoker? Pitiful. I was only holding the cigarette, that's all. What? No need to hide. What? No need to hide around you. Oh, pitiful. Just pitiful. Oh, Lord. Please grant this overly suspicious lost lamb some salvation, I beg you. Have you come... We should check that out. At some point, meet her mom. Probably we introduce ourselves. Uh, Lena. There she is. So, past the, uh, the skate park. Huh? Alright. It's fast travel. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit of a hitch. No, nothing. Just felt like saying that. <laughs> Cut through squirrel territory. Hey, Zach, it looks like we were right on the money. Tracing the San Rouge distribution route led us right to Louisiana. You know what that means. We've got a hot hand. And Lady Luck's given us far more favor than she ever has before. We just happened to hear news about Lisa's murder while sitting in a bar during our vacation in New Orleans. That certainly wouldn't have happened if we had stayed in D.C. They would have given the case to another special agent, or maybe even to the state, and then we never would have found it. In the end, 
it would have been shut up in that vast, desolate evidence vault along with all the other cases, marked by nothing but a first-degree murder tag buried in a soggy grave at the bottom of a sea of data. That would have been its fate. Instead, it traveled from person to person until it finally fell right into our lap. Things always work out that way for us. We've traveled all over the United States trying to track down San Rouge. We can't let this chance pass us by, can we, Zach? We need to find some sort of clue before this southern sun melts it all away. Okay. Please be home. The address on the prescription led us to this house. Seems like she ain't home. No. No lights on either. Why? When? Eight o'clock? She work? Where? Professor R's never home, you know. Patty, why do you know so much about Professor R? I don't know that much, really. But you're the first person in town who mentioned her name to me. You also knew about San Rouge, didn't you? And when I tried to ask you more about it back then, you gave me an evasive answer. You're my assistant, aren't you? If you are, then you need to tell me everything you know about this case. Your mom gets sick from it? Daddy don't like Lena. He said it's stupid for a man to want to turn into a woman. What? And he told me I ain't supposed to talk about her. He said that if you knew someone like her was living here, Agent York, you'd start to hate this town. That's ridiculous. Why would I ever hate this town? Because one of its inhabitants is transgender? Why in the world would that make a difference to me? The other folks in town said the same thing as Daddy. They all know about Saint Rouge and Professor R. What's the link, though? And about how she's waging war against the Clarksons. But they all say we ain't supposed to talk about it. So, I... And here, I'd assumed that ignorant way of thinking died out with the 20th century. 20? That seems a little generous. I guess I really am an outsider after all. I thought that everyone was cooperating with my investigation. But it turns out they were all hiding key information from me. Damn it, Zack. He's looking up to the heavens for answers. This just made me hate the countryside for the first time in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Patty, don't cry. Oh, I'm sorry for being so loud, Patricia. But just remember this. Person's birthplace, nature, race, and physical features have no bearing on their value as a human being. We're always free, and we should respect each other just the way we are. So you shouldn't feel a need to hate Lena for no reason. No matter what the people around you say, you can't let them control you. Good for you, York. Sometimes things like common sense and decency can end up deeply hurting other people. I sincerely hope you don't forget that. Okay, I won't. But, if Lena's committed a crime, that's a different story altogether. She may be a social minority, but she's still free and capable of knowing the difference between right and wrong. I mean, she was at that murder. Professor R. I sincerely hope she's smart enough to understand that. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not sure if it was that or not. I figured they would have just replaced it with, uh, like, text, not voice acting, whatever it was. So I, I honestly don't know what got changed. Listen to the two ends and drink dry the fire water. Do this and you will see the other world. Is this a, a hydrant? 
Fire hydrant? No? Zach, did you hear that? It's another oracle. I assume this means we're getting closer to the truth. Well, this is good. We don't have any other big clues at the moment. What do you say we continue the skeletal gentleman's game? All right, well, I guess we're not meeting her. After I spent the 90s listening to nothing but punk rock, I fell out of touch with music, but the digital audio player I received last Christmas changed everything. Nowadays, people can walk around with thousands of songs in their pockets. You following me here, Zach? That's right. This oracle is connected to music. The two ends refer to neither periods nor a movie's credits. They refer to the last letter of the alphabet, Z. And what's a word that has two Z's in it? Jazz, of course. Remember, we're in Louisiana here. Okay. The fire water is even easier. It's alcohol. Yep. Let's go to that jazz that bar and have a drink while we consider our next plan of action. Don't worry. This is all part of our job. Isn't it, Zach? Can we bring Patty? Lucari Tiger to DC Eagle. We got to tell Melvin off about his... Lucari Tiger to DC Eagle. Teach Come things in. to Patty. DC Eagle here. Got any news for me? Well, Mr. York, uh, we got ourselves a bit of a problem here. What sort of problem? <laughs> Looks like Daniel's gathered up a group of people to help him find Galena's killer on his own. If the Clarksons get serious, problem. they'll probably put an end to this case before we even know what hit us. And it sure won't be wrapped up the way you want it to, Mr. York. Yes, that certainly is a problem. Judging from Daniel's temperament, things are bound to get out of control. Hmm. Melvin, I need to find Professor R as soon as possible. P Professor R? That's right. That ain't such a good idea. I didn't ask for your personal opinion, Melvin. Especially if it comes from an antiquated, xenophobic way of thinking that's characteristic of rural towns. I wonder if xenophobic is the correct term. Whoa now, Mr. York. What's going on here? I didn't... This conversation is over, Melvin. You need to figure out what the Clarksons are planning. Call me again as soon as you know. Also, sorry, but would you mind coming to pick up Patricia? I would never think to take an innocent girl like her into an adult watering hole. Yeah, you're right. CLG's still too young for that. Wait, Daddy! Agent York! I'm going too! Don't let me out of this! No, Patricia. You signed a contract with me, remember? I promise to protect you from all the evil in our world. That's not what it means! Hmm? Patty... You're smart. Shockingly so. But you're still a child. And there are certain things a child like you doesn't need to learn about yet. Just go home for today. Zack and I are both in agreement on this one. She needs to not learn that <laughs> adults drink alcohol sometimes. <laughs> I'm so glad you understand, Patty. Okay, Melvin, that's that. I'm the rest is in your hands. Roger that. I'll take care of her, Mr. York. All right. Check the fire water. Let's do it. Patty, I'm sorry I have to do this. I don't mean to abandon you. I hope you understand. This next stop feels dangerous. It's okay, I get it. I'll go home early today and take care of Mama. Actually, we should I'm be able to stop by their house. Now. Good. And do tell Melvin I said hi. Hey, Agent York. 
About Professor R, is she really a bad person? What do you mean? I only ever got to talk to her once. Oh, uh, is it okay to say her? How do I know what to call her? Her is fine, Patty. Simply respect the gender that the person chose. Okay. She once got arrested for causing trouble with some of the Clarkson's workers. They got drunk at her bar and went crazy or something. When she came into the sheriff's office, our eyes met just for a second. Then she said something to me. She like kicked her asses? As you grow into an adult, you will witness a great deal. But you don't need to take it all in. Just stay focused on the beauty yeah, there's of a drummer our world. Again. A ghost drummer. I didn't get what she meant. And because of what Daddy said, it kind of scared me. But now, I reckon I understand what she meant back then. Oh, sorry, Agent York. I shouldn't have gotten into all that when you're in such a hurry. No, that was a very important story you shared with me just now. You really are the perfect assistant. Well, I figured that those lines were added in, but it's interesting that they were voiced. Uh, assumedly in Japanese and in English. Thank you, Patricia. Don't worry, I don't need to wait for Daddy. I'll wait at my house until we... Alright, let's go also to her house. And it's a long way, so we should fast travel at least a little ways there. Go, go! Were you thinking about Galena, too? And all the other women we've seen so far on our travels across the states. Zach, I'm right, aren't I? This is a vast country. Incredibly vast. And it's mostly composed of mountains, deserts, and farmland, with small towns scattered about here and there. That's how America looks to me. Compared to the scale of this entire country, New York, Chicago, and L.A. are all microscopic. Sometimes they even feel like figments of my imagination. Think back to what Las Vegas looked like when we were driving up I-15. It was a mirage. The TV and movies dress up those mirages and broadcast them to people all around the world. Meanwhile, American women become fascinated by the gorgeous city lights and are drawn toward those illusions. The very same women who were chosen as prom queens in their small towns. In the end, all they find are ghosts. Once their eyes adjust to that blinding light, they realize there's nothing but vanity and lust surrounding them. They finally figure out that it was all in their heads. Then they quickly try to satisfy themselves with something else. Drugs. And drugs are the gateway to a whole pantheon yeah, I saw of crime. some people talking Zach, about, like, what you told me once? The, the women who turn so to crime aren't evil added some in to make The drugs aren't like evil either. They're nothing but chemicals. People in his world thought off those women and use them. So They're the ones to hate. Let's go, like York. We need to find the person who's hiding yeah, behind no Galena, it, but and drag them out into the blazing in the southern sun. Do. Which, I mean, reflects the real world. But the player character is, you know, an understanding, compassionate person. So I guess it's just changed it. Emphasize that. Alright, so let's cross the bridge. And then Patty's house should be close. Let's... I guess it's Melvin's house, technically. Let's put a waypoint there. I don't think I've made the new, uh, new Were you thinking about Galena too? Well, we just heard and this. And all the other women we've seen so far on our travels across the states. Zach, I'm right, aren't I? This is a vast country. That's just six 
seven weeks between Crete and Lagan ending after needing a pulp? Uh, maybe. The pulp comes out a couple weeks before it's over, though. Looks like a case of let's come back. Aww. Oh well. Yeah, I don't really know what the, the lines were that were changed. Destination. Zach, it appears to let's come back. Right. I should have known. It's a bar. Of course it's not a bar. That's gonna be a lot of smoking. What time is it open? Let's check. Monday uh I see one day of the week is us. Tell me right there. Monday through Thursday, five PM. So I guess we smoke. Get us till five or not. Would you and the others in Blind Wave consider reacting to Hasbin Hotel? We would consider reacting to anything. The answer is always a maybe. This is something we've all seen. It's still not quite time. Zach, it let's come back. One more pack. And we're smacking, smoking this whole pack. It's three packs. We just smoked. Yeah, allergies. You're really wrecking me today. I might have to stop a little early. I don't know if it's this room or what, but I'm in bad shape. I even took my allergy pill this morning. It's been less and less effective this past like week, week and a half. So either the allergens are worse or I'm just getting used to the medicine. I don't know. Can you guys hear that sick dr drumming of the ghost? Look, Zack, that seat is beckoning us. Just 
before I have a dark game. Seems that way. Listen to the two ends and drink dry the fire water. Oh yeah. Got Do this dialogue. and you will see the other world. Hungan's oracle pointed us to this bar. So we must have to do something here. But I feel like the fire water part is missing something. like the flyer for a jazz concert. They actually make the flyers for weekly concerts. Tyron Sanders and his saintly melodies, the speed wish, with kicks like a V12 engine, and the young genius Emma Sanders with bass lines that'll flip you upside down, and the man who was truly born to perform, Xavier Johnson in his solitary white garment. Solitary white garment. What does that have to do with the music? Stage is quiet. No one is playing here tonight. I was hoping we'd run into Emma here, but it looks like it won't be happening. They certainly take good care of the stage. I couldn't call this a rundown backwoods bar stage if I had a gun to my head. drink. <laughs> Zach, do you see that? It's a gigantic go sign. I think someone's trying to send us a very powerful message here. That settles it. This must be a singularity. Uh oh. Is it fight time? Beautiful there lipstick. Is. The color red suits you. Thank you. Red is the color of life. That no human who familiar. knows the joy of life would ever hate this color. Or would they? Lina Dalman. Professor, AKA Professor R. Maybe. Maybe not. But I know of a drug with a red color that certainly doesn't signify life. It sometimes even steals the lives of those who drown themselves in it. Catch my drift? Before a candle's flame burns out, it burns brighter than ever before, blazing like a shining red star. A long cigarette. Don't you think that instant is more valuable than a century of smoldering? Better to burn up than to fade away. That blaze doesn't cast out the darkness. It only emphasizes it. But where are my manners? I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. But everyone calls me York. Let me get straight to the point. Mm. What? You were present when Lise Clarkson was murdered. And you were also involved with Galena Clarkson's death. Correct? Come back to a spider guy from Demon Slayer? Let me listen. Agent Morgan, are you a man who can hold his liquor? I believe that. I'd love some fire water. 
We're similar. You and, you and I. Really? I don't see the resemblance. She does have some beautiful eyes. Well, you eyes. should. Look deeper. Think about who you were when you were first born, and who you are now. Different selves exist inside your body. Are you talking about Zack? <laughs> I don't know if she would see this as a compliment, but her eyes and hair looks a lot like my grandmother's. I was born as a man, but in my heart, I wasn't so. And this is a small town. I experienced far more scorn and discrimination than anyone could ever imagine. Especially from my father. Parents are supposed to raise their children with love. That's the norm, right? Not for me. Well, she's got the I was raised pose. by my father's flesh-seething hatred. Ooh, I like her voice acting. So I love all ran away from home, started good. making drugs, then seduced a young life and destroyed it. That story makes no sense to me. Think about it. They didn't burn you in a witch hunt, nor did they ever try to take your life. Yet here you are, letting your selfish fantasies drive you to torch the entire town with vengeful fire. Why did you abandon your inheritance only to end up in a place like this? What do you hope to achieve? <laughs> You've already figured out that much. Leonard doesn't exist anymore. He disappeared from me a long time ago. All that's left now is the Red Soul. Red Soul? The Red Soul? The Red Soul gives me strength and courage. You got drugged, yo. And I vowed to use that strength to change this world. The Red Soul has the power to amplify the unique characteristics we all possess. Mentally and physically. That's why I created the Holy Red Powder. So that everyone can enjoy its divine benefits. Mm. That's ridiculous. Our world is home to scarier monsters than violence and prejudice. You saw them. They got Ugh. scissors. Zack. Someday, even your best friend will abandon you. No. Never. And in the end... You'll be all alone. Zack and I will always be together. But damn. Oh. God. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. It's not the drink, it's the three packs of cigarettes he smoked. Oh, no, not this. Daddy! Where are you, Daddy? You don't want to know, kid. Don't leave me here! Daddy! Please! I can't find Mommy either! Don't, don't leave me alone! Disappear? Now I'm confused. Hmm. Oh. She got a sack. She spiked the drink with some sort of sleeping pill. Uh, in the first game, spoilers, but um, our dad killed our mom. And then himself, I'm pretty sure. At the um, behest 
of the great evil in that game. No wonder they call her the Professor. Whew. But that was a rash move. What does that have to do with Professor? Perhaps she realized that she's finally crossed the point of no return. <laughs> we need to head to the Clarksons at once before it's too late. And that event uh, split our personality. We can still stop this. personality of Francis York Morgan. Spoilers. But, I mean, it's kind of like the whole Jane K situation with um, Doom Patrol. Alright, I think it's going to have to do it for today, unfortunately. I am I'm feeling pretty rough. This game deserves better. So, I think I'm going to call a little early today, unfortunately. I know, it's it's so much fun. I hate to call it early, but the game deserves better, as do you all as well. I have to look at this new allergy medicine or something. But yeah, I will be back next Saturday. We'll try Fall Guys again this Friday, as long as the servers are working. And, um... Aaron is going to be finishing out Dark Souls on Monday, maybe. Hopefully. So thanks, guys. If you just got here, check out the VOD. Uh, there's some edited versions going up on YouTube as well. So go and check that out, too. And go back and watch the Final Fantasy 7 playthrough while you're at it. Thanks a lot, guys. It was a good time. We made some progress, even though we had to go through a terrible fetch quest just terrible but we did it we preserved see you guys next time